All right, mic check, mic check, mic check. One of the masters podcast, your main of course. First and foremost, I want to thank all the supportive listeners, everybody who shared the podcast, all the who listen to the podcast, word of mouth, Facebook shares, uh, Twitter, Snapchat, all platforms, Instagram, whatever, story likes, all that type stuff. I want to uh, thank all you guys for c- consistently sharing the podcast, supporting the podcast, giving me ideas, giving me feedback. Continue to do so. If you think I'm doing something you don't like, hit me up. If I'm doing something you do like, let me know. I'll continue to do that. If you got any ideas for the podcast, definitely let me know. Um, I am not uh, against taking feedback from my listeners. So thank y'all for that. I want to start a podcast off. It's not going to be a long pod, hopefully. I want to uh, kind of touch on something, but I want to start a podcast with some music. So without further ado, let's get into it. Mic check, mic check, mic check. One of Master's podcast. This is uh, 32 Evan. It's my guy, by the way. Mic check, mic yeah, check. You know, I be hearing about this and that or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I ain't tripping about none of that shit, though. You know, I'ma hold this shit down. Big 32, nigga, low shit. Free the motherfucking gang, nigga. Sorry about the cursing. <laughs> I hear them rumors, hope them boys don't think I'm scared. Thirteen shots in this SD, I'ma leave you bitches red. Smoking dogs just turned up like I'm out the mess. I just talked to my dog, freaking free my niggas out the feds. I am no affiliation to this stuff, by the way. Not me. With me in this hot box, the gas, and then I, fed. I don't smoke either. I did it broke, I did it alone, I did it scared. But one thing you ain't gonna do, play on my top, fuck up my head. And I got plenty of rest and plus my diamond show, bro. Just like some Zaza, bitch, I promise you. Mic check, mic check. Nigga, try to link with me, little bitch, you gon' get pulled up. And I'm gay for real, be 32, little bitch, I'm low, no. Little boy say he just wanna Also, I have no gang affiliation ties. Like, I'm not affiliated. This is my guy, but that's just... On another surface, I'm not affiliated with no gang. Just want to say that very clear. I'm not affiliated with no gang. I need gonna be straight, but I'm strapped up and I'm always on my knees. I'm here to stay. When I'm out of trap and I'm clutching on my pole, bitch, I don't play. They be talking down like ho when I come around, they shit to say. My chat, my chat, my chat. Them boys don't think I'm scared. 13 shots in this SD, I'ma leave you bitches red. Smoking dogs just turned up like I'm off the mess. I just talked to my dog, freaking free my niggas out the fed. Hey, I like Dirty Two Evans, by the way. I like it. I'm a big fan of music, man. Hey, don't let them tell you I'm only going to support you because you... Never mind. Grab the hot box from Carolina, fucking Lego spin again. My little one say he just up the score and I need have to sin. Y'all get say get him a do so walk for him to spin a bin. After you go spin them nigga block, get on your knee for sin. Ain't no way you watch it in this world, he ain't got no bleep. What you think I'm out here rocking vision like I ain't got no stick. When this shit on with my day one nigga, I ain't even have to switch. G4S, I made my own way nigga, shout out to my team. My bitch like the way I hold my own, ain't no no. Hey, real quick, I like Evan, man. He be flowing, too. I, he, it's not that he lyrical, it's just his flow. He got a good flow about him, you know what I'm saying? I'm going by that other shit. I really want to get these fucking rats and take care of my G. I don't want to smoke none of my ops because these niggas rigid. I don't want no fuck on these broke hoes because these bitches petty. LeBron say, huh? Hey, real quick. Hey, excuse the cursing. I know I normally don't play a song with a lot of cursing in it, but hey, this is the music, man. I wanted to start off with somebody I know, some some local, uh, some independent, you know, somebody that grinds, putting the work in. All right, I, I don't want to tell himself. All right, we're going to start right there. Shout out to my guy, 32 Evan, all right? That's probably not the best way to start the song, but I do like that song a lot. Um, You can find his music on iTunes. That is off the... Grind for something, uh, uh, volume one tape that he got. That was Blicky Talk last song, but the first song was called Free the Gang, and then uh, Shotters was the second song. So shout out to him, by the way. Not a paid production. I just wanted to play the music. If you see the music and it's good, and I actually like it, I'm going to play it on a pod. Um, just you got to send it to me. That That's step one. Uh, step two is to leave me the hell alone. Let me play when I want to play it. Um, yeah, that probably wasn't, wasn't the, the most PC thing to say, huh? It's all good. Listen, man, my check, my check. We here. One Master's podcast, man. Uh, for since I'm talking about music that you know got violence and that type of stuff into it, uh, I don't know what's going on at fin- uh, Fantasy Road, but boy, that is crazy. It's crazy to have that many stabbings, that many uh, 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 dishonest officers. Every week they fire an officer for doing this, for doing that. I don't, I ain't sure what they got going on at Fantasy Road, but I want no parts of it. If I didn't want to go to jail before. For the first 30 some odd years of my life, I definitely don't want to go right now because that seemed like it's not the place to be. Not that it ever seemed like the place to be, but now it seemed like you go there, you might, you're more likely to not come home. 
that's just wild. Like, every week has been a story. It's money getting stabbed, money getting killed, money getting beat up, tortured. It's on camera. It's like, the hell they got going on over there, man? I don't know what, who the warden is that finishes the role, but I'm almost for certain that he might be in the game, but I don't want to put that on him. So I might need to beat that part out, but I'm probably not. You know what I mean? Um, so be safe out there, man. If you don't get nothing from this podcast, be safe out there because regardless of who you are, um, what you're doing, whether you, if you gang bang, you're not gang bang, you're in that lifestyle, not in that lifestyle, it seems to it seems to be that even people going in there for murder and 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 heinous crimes, you know, really violent crimes are getting violated very violently as well. I'm not even sure how to take that because I, I you know, I'm not a fan of violence in the same in the same token. I understand. You know, which reap you got to sow. Well, sow which reap. I don't know. Something like that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, I I, I, I don't know. It's tough. But they got to fix that real quick. Roundtree, they ain't voted for a reason. You got to, come on. Stop doing the bear. That's yeah, probably not the same one, but it's all good. Roundtree, you got to tighten up, baby. You got to tighten up. Uh, This is getting outrageous. That That's getting out. That's a lot, you know. And you hear about the, the prisons that, 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 they have a lot of violence, whether it's like the Rikers Islands, uh, the prisons in California. Like, it's just Augusta. Why are we, <laughs> what the hell is going on? Like, what's gotten into Augusta, right? Um, and how is it safe on the streets and inside the penitentiary? Which I guess I can tell because a lot of criminals there, whatever. But, yeah, that's tough, man. Um, but, yeah, anyway, I don't have for a long time, man. I wanted to really just talk on one thing, man. Uh, I've gotten a, a message this, this week. Uh, I, I've been told this twice. Okay, I've been told I've been told this twice this week that I be stirring the pot. So, ooh, I thought about it. I said, well, for what I knew, stir the pot to me was, you know, you 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 instigating a fight. Uh, you kind of putting two sides against each other, you know, things like that. That's what I thought. That's what I always thought it meant. And then. Um, I looked it up and it said something about just agitating the situation or, you know, uh, uh, you know, just, just causing problems intentionally. And I said, hmm, I might, I might, I might fall under that a little bit. You know, I, I might fall. So I even did this because during this pod, I'm going to play this throughout the pod sometime. I even did, I even, I even made a, I even made a drop and, and it goes a little something like, in the kitchen and I said, well, when, when they hear that song, do they think of me? Like, like, do you think of me when you hear that song, like stirring the pot, stir fry? I don't know if it's the same thing. I've never ate stir fry before. But. Am I amigo now? Like. That's what I thought when I heard it start a pasta. I gotta have that drop because I feel like you know that that's what I, what I think of when I hear you know uh, somebody saying you start a pot. Now I'm gonna call some people, maybe one or two. I'm not sure. Depends who answer the phone, and I want to kind of get their opinion. One person I'm gonna call real quick right now is my guy Rose. I'm saying my guys if I like know him, know him. And I really don't, but he seems to be cool. So I'm about to call him real quick. Just, just, and just I'm gonna be transparent with y'all, right? I had called him. We had did this segment already, like couple minutes ago it's a storm going on i don't know what happened things went off lights went out had to re-record i was only like eight minutes in so it wasn't bad even the whole intro i just i just did it all over you know but you know consistency is key right so let's let's let's, let's get him on the phone <phone rings> jesus christ oh it's a loud ring <phone rings> Hello? Hello? Can you hear me, bro? Yeah, I can hear you. Hey, what's going on? What's good? What's good, man? Sir? All right, hey, look, man, I'm sorry. I, I called you a minute ago. I had to call you again because it's a storm going on Augusta. I don't know what side of town or state you in or it's the part of the country you in, but it's a storm going on, so that's why I had to re record. But I wanted your opinion on. You had you had mentioned something that I was told twice this week, and you were the second time I was told this. It was the, the, the saying was stir the pot. So before I ask you any questions, just tell me like what, what does stir the pot mean in, in, in your opinion? 
me starting a pot is when you say, I say you have an opinion about something, you say it, and uh, hold on, my bad, bro, I just walking by some Jesus. But stirring the pot, basically, when you say you have an opinion, you say something, and it gets a good or bad reaction, but most of the time, people that react to it react to it negatively when it doesn't have to be negative. Mm. So, like, say when you had, I can't remember the exact post, but one of the posts, basically, it was you saying something, your opinion, but it was true. But a lot of people wouldn't say it because they didn't want the backlash that comes with the truth. That's got you. Kind of the whole staring in the pot thing. I got you. I got you. So, like, so for me, I, I look at it like, is it is it more so because I got a strong opinion and I kind of stand on that opinion that uh, it, it makes it come off as if I'm stirring the pot because other people may feel differently or they feel the same way that they just scared to say it, like, or they become defensive because I'm standing on what I'm saying, like, like how how does how does how does how the pot stirring part come into play? And I'm. It's kind of like what you said because like uh. Again, you have a lot of opinions that a lot of people have, but a lot of people won't say it because they're either A, scared of the backlash, or B, they just don't want to deal with the backlash that comes with it. And like I said earlier, a lot of your opinions don't have to be, like a lot of the backlash is not always negative backlash. It could be positive backlash, but say if, let me see, say if it's just a gender-based thing, right? Just hypothetically speaking, it's gender-based. If males agree with you then it's like sometimes a lot of the females is going to disagree so that brings the negative backlash or vice versa say you say something and the females agree with it a lot of dudes are like nah that's not it so now you got the positive backlash and the negative backlash and a lot of people don't know how to handle the negative backlash like, mm. a lot of people love the positive backlash but they can't stand on it when we when the negative backlash comes into the picture if that makes sense. No, it makes make a lot of sense. I'll be honest with you, bro. I, I'm just a person that, I don't know, I really don't care. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I'll say something and I won't even respond again for the rest of the day. I'll make a post and just leave it. And a lot of people see it. And that's where, like, a lot of people need to get to that point. I feel like when people get to that point where it's like, I'm going to stand on my opinion, it's my opinion, we'll be seeing a lot more opinionated posts. But again, a lot of people like to, walk on eggshells on social media and stuff and it's like look it's your social media it's your page so your opinion is your opinion if another person get mad at your opinion that's on them that's not you and right that's what a lot of people when they start to get to that point in life they're just like you know what i'm gonna say what i feel like saying and the consequences are the backlash is gonna be what it is and i'm telling you a lot more people will be saying a lot more and getting a lot more off their chest because at the end of the day I'm like you. I don't care. Like if I post something, I'm gonna post it because I feel like posting it. And if y'all, if I see comments, like sometimes I look at the comments, sometimes I don't. And it's just like a lot of people need to learn how to do that too. Like, hey, post something, right. just leave it. Let hey. it marinate. Do what it do. Hey, bro, I, I appreciate you for uh, uh, taking this call again. I know you, <laughs> you had a shorter combo last time, but this is probably better too. So I appreciate you, bro. Hold it down. It's all good, bro. Stay safe. Thank you. All right. I'm gonna call another person. Let's see. I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call somebody else. Let's see. What's up? Hey, real quick, I'm gonna just tell you right now. I'm, uh, this is this is Bobby calling you from the Mortal Masters podcast. What's up, Bobby? Okay, that long, <laughs> I had to say that part because you know me and you are a little cooler. I don't want you saying nothing crazy that you be like, hey, take oh, okay. that out. You know. All right. Um. I got a question, man. Uh, I was told something twice this week, and I want to know your opinion on it, for one, and then also what they could possibly mean when they say this. Okay? Okay. All right. Okay. So I was told twice this week that uh, I'll be stirring a pot. Mm. Well, mm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Hold up. Time out. Time out. <laughs> what was that mm about? That's a strong mm. I didn't hear you say mm yeah, like that before. Yeah, you do. Oh, yeah. Jesus That's Christ. you. That's you, Bobby. I called That's the wrong you. person. All right. Well, t t t <laughs> So tell me, so when they say that, what comes to mind for you when it, when, as it pertains to me? Um, kind of like, with, like for example, this whole submarine uh, thing we talking about. You know, you've been making status. It's kind of like getting the people riled up. That's what starting about me. Like, you, you making 
people feel crazy. You do a good job of that too. Whoa. You you I make, didn't say nothing about them make, submarine people. That's a, that's a real thing. I'll be trying to stay out the way, you know. There's low lives being lost. <laughs> no, but okay, so you know everybody's talking about submarine people. You know how people make a certain status. Right. And it's it's kinda like making people, you know, upset, but then the other people is finding humor in it. That's kinda like stirring the pot. Okay. So let me ask you, uh, what, what have but, I done directly? Because you know me. You, you, I mean, you could, you could speak on it. I, is it something I said? Like, was it recently or just over time? Like, I've been doing this? Because this is news to me. This is this is a new thing to me. I, don't, I didn't think I'd be stirring the pot. Well, so, you got to um, tell me, like, what 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 comes to mind? Like, what's something I've, I've, I've done or said? What's something you've done? Um, let me see. Let me go on your page real quick. Oh, my and just, God. You know, I swear to God, if you find something that quick, that means I'm really bad at it. Real fast. Real All right, fast. So I, you know what? Let me ask you. So what, because when somebody <laughs> said it, I'm think would it be like, let's say, you know, I'm not trying to use that P word. Would that be something like that? Like that? It's stirring the pot? Me talking about people uh, saying that, you know, Augusta supports popularity over X, Y, Z. Is that, would that be stirring the pot? Because I, I, I think differently. Um, a little bit because you know you got people who feel strongly about both views. Mm. So just just bringing it up, yeah, it is stirring the pot. So mm-hmm. so, but are, are they not stirring the pot? So I'm stirring the pot for bringing it up, but not them, not not the people that say it. But since I since I'm talking about it, I'm stirring the pot. Yeah, because more people pay attention to stuff you post. Hey, Half I'm, of these people that's that's complaining about being popular, half of them don't even got enough followers to even for people to even pay attention. Didn't do the work yet. But when you post stuff, huh? No, I, I just I, I put a drop. They just didn't do the work. That's why nobody knows they what they talking about. Yeah, so I feel like when you don't put the yeah. work in, you just you 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 go unknown and unnoticed. Yeah, I, and I and I and I support you on that, but that's starting the pot though. Oh wow! So I just gotta not talk about things for a little while. <laughs> that's crazy. Something like that. <laughs> that's crazy. For example, listen, let me let me tell you. It was somebody that went live today and they were saying, um, what's what's the um what did they say? It was like, what's the mean girl? And you commented on the on the person live and was like, you that's certain. Oh, I pie. said that. Yeah, you Damn. Yeah, I said that. Nah, and I, when you said it, I'm like, look at him. Me- the pot. Talk nah, about you. I remember they they asked the question. It was like, what's what's the mean girl? And I was like, well, I'm going to just stay with like one I know so that maybe they could, you know what I'm saying? That's like me asking you, who's a pot stirrer? And you might be like, you. So now I got to look at myself and be like, damn, what I'm doing is stir the pot. And maybe you should call this person and kind of tell them what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? Like how you just doing me. But it's no big deal. Hey, look. So I... I I, I can agree. I think I think I agree with with the with the, with the pot stirring thing, whatever. But I also think that so you you somebody who 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 have who have strong opinions on things, and we post things, we 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 share our opinion, and we just stand on it. So are we stirring a pot because we stand on our opinions, or are we stirring a pot when we continuously tell everybody every day that our opinion is our opinion, or is it just a petty thing you think from when it comes to me? Yeah, sometimes you can be petty. I'm very, sometimes yeah, you can very, be petty. Very. Yeah. I call it being fun. Mm-hmm. I like the joke, Shay. I, I mean, I like to laugh. Like you know, you gotta laugh, man. Yeah, it's, it's listen, a rough world. And I laugh. I laugh with you. Oh, but okay. sometimes cool, cool, cool. you you be making statuses, and people be like mad at you, and you don't even be caring. They be mad. They be mad. You make another status. No. You make a- <laughs> they be mad for real. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> they be they be mad for real. Like how you know this? You be knowing them personally. They be mad. I don't be knowing them personally, but you know, sometimes people make statuses and then uh, you see your status, so it's kind of like, oh, I wonder if, if they talk about Bobby. Oh, I don't know, because I don't be, hey, I don't, hey, Shay, I post and go. I don't, I don't be knowing what people be posting sometimes, like, and, and, and I don't know, maybe not, maybe not my algorithm. Maybe not, maybe not, know. because sometimes I may post something and somebody might see something and screenshot and be like, oh, God, and they talk about you. So maybe uh, people don't screenshot stuff and send it to you, so you don't really be knowing. You probably don't even care no way. Yeah, I keep a real positive circle, Shay. I, you know, I, I, <laughs> I really try to, you know, just just go to work, take care of my kids, and just, just come on Facebook and joke. That's all I want to do, you know. Yeah. I just mm-hmm. try to get the jokes off. But I, I, I work you, hard. You know, you I try to be doing that. I, that's all I try to do. You know, I try to and, and so I probably shouldn't say it, but since I'm talking to them, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. So. 
I remember I posted, I shared a post one time, it's a couple weeks ago. And when I shared mm-hmm. a post, I guess it got a lot of comments. So out of everybody that shared the post, which was like hundreds of 200s, I don't know, posts being shared for this one person, they decided to add me so they can comment on the post, and which I thought was weird, but whatever. And I recently realized, so, oh, they unfriended me. And I think I might have been stirring the pot then. I think I went on for like yeah. another two weeks just talking about how yeah. it popularity doesn't matter. And I, oh, I almost threw up saying that P word, but you know. Um, yeah. You, and they only added you just so they can comment, yeah. so you can see their comment. Yeah, and, and, and another woman on the post was like, you you always bothering somebody. So I think she meant stirring a pot, though. I think that's what she meant to say. Yeah, that's okay, that's just, the word she was looking for. Yeah, okay. Yeah, stirring just, the pot. I got you. I got you. All right. Hey, man, this is this is a pleasure talking to you, Shad. I just wanted to, didn't know you were going to give it to me that real, but hey, you know, that's what friends are for, right? All right, Bobby. All right, All hold right, it down. Sir. Have a good night. And, you know. <laughs> Bye. All right. All right, well, it's looking, it's looking real looking real uh pot stirrer ish let me call it's the last guy i'm gonna call man let me see let me call slim see what he say hopefully i don't say nothing crazy because nigga be talking wild hello hey what's up man what's up bro hey this day this is bobby calling from water masters podcast Bobby Boucher, fine yeah, first yeah. on last, Ricky Bobby, baby. I just, I just got to make sure I put that out there so that nothing is said that, you know, shouldn't be said. Got to, you know, that's my, that's my journalism duty to do. <laughs> I got you. All right, cool. Got a question, man, and I, I called two people prior to this, so I'm going to pose to you the same way. And I was told this um, last week, so I want your opinion on it, and you give it to me real, you, you my homie. Uh, so I was told, they said, hey, man, you are... Uh, you, you you be stirring a pot. And I always thought that meant something different, but after talking to, uh, I guess, a couple people today and looking it up, I, I guess I, I kind of could see where, where where that comes into play. So I want I want your opinion on that. Like, I be stirring a pot, and if I do, like, give me an example. Uh, stirring a pot. That's not a, that's not a, that's not a phrase I would normally use. But I think I know what they're talking about. So, what you want me to say if I agree with that or disagree with well, that? Well, yeah, that and then give me a, give me a, some example of that. You know, give me some reasons why you, you you're a podcaster. You know what to do, man. Come on, tighten up. All right, so I'm gonna keep it a bean with you. It's some it it's some truth to that because I'm gonna be honest with you. Like I know you be being funny online, but some of the stuff some of the stuff you do be over the top petty. <laughs> Hey, tell me. <laughs> Let me know. Let me know what I'm talking about. Bruh, I, I, I give you a prime example because I seen you do it today. I seen oh, a post shit. by a girl today. I seen a post by a girl today, and she said something about mean girls. And she Yo. like, tell me what a mean girl oh, is. Oh, my God. And you was like, you. You was like, you. And I was like, bro, I know you was being funny, but I was like, come on, man. Like, you going to comment on every, every post would be funny? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> if I see it now, this particular person, like, if she, we we cool, but this particular person, like, if, if she put in work in and she's in like my algorithm, that's all I'm gonna see. Oh, okay. You see, see what I'm saying? That, like, man. and and honestly, yeah, I look at it like I would. I hope I expect the that that person, the same people is in our circle that do like the social media stuff. I would hope we all comment on each other stuff, even if it, you know, what I'm saying, even if you're just playing, just because that, from what we know, that brings more attention to your post. No. Yeah, I guess we you. all in the same field yeah. in that sense, and I'm I'm always joking with that person. Like we we, we cool. I mean, she she, yeah, she, she yeah. mean, but you know, we I can cool. tell. I can tell it's all the fun and games. But another example I got, and uh, because Damn, I'm not you in your bag, ain't you? It's in my bag. I'm not in my bag. <laughs> I'm a um. Uh, uh, because I'm not gonna use nothing too personal, but I'm gonna tell you like. When oh we my god! Hey, I swear to God. If... <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen. Hey, don't bring hey, up you none of your, like... Don't bring up none of your clients. I'm gonna tell you right now, because you oh, might you no, might no, hit no, a nerve. I would never do that. Oh, okay. I would never do that. But uh, when you was like, "Yeah, man, let's do this pod with cooks," and I was like, eh, "Let's let's not." <laughs> <laughs> 
That's stirring the, the pot, cooks. bro. <laughs> That's stirring the pot. It's yes. like, let's just leave that alone. He's doing a good enough job so, painting his narrative by himself. My my reason for doing it, I got a text message and was like, yo, I'm tired of this, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, well, damn, yeah. you made it. That's a good yeah, you made it. That's stirring the pot, then. You're right. Because <laughs> I only wanted to do it because I got that text. <laughs> Hey, so it's crazy you say that because I got a call Saturday night and they was like, hey, man, I talked to the owners. You you want to hear the truth? I oh said, my bro, God. no, I don't want to hear the truth. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. I don't want to hear the truth and I'm still, I'm I'm going with Cook's I'm going with Cook's truth. I That's just, what I'm going with. I just, for me, I'm thinking about the whys of why would I hear, why would I have heard it twice this week? I've never heard it before. I heard you bother people. You mess with people, whatever. Maybe they meant stirring the pot, and you know, and that's just a lack of uh, vocabulary, whatever the case may be. And I wonder if it had, cause yeah. I didn't, did it have, you think it had anything to do with the whole, you know, how I feel about the whole, you know, I'm trying not to say the p word, I won't throw up, but you know, that word with support and stuff like that. You think I went a little too hard? With oh, that? oh, Maybe I feel like so I, because bro, I, I thought like that was more petty but, than than uh, stirring the pot. I mean, I, I guess I made a shirt. You know, I'm always gonna try to sell it some merch. You know, so I think that's cool to do. But you know, I feel like I think sometimes people take uh, like, and I'm saying our because you you are in the same field as me, our opinions, and yeah. because we are able to stand on them. And then I guess the only difference between me and maybe you and that is that I'm gonna let you know every day that I feel that way still. And I guess yeah, well, people be you know, over it. I guess. Folks, folks are really, really, really in tune to that topic. So if they, because you know how podcasting works, sometimes people only seen one video before, and sometimes they seen two, and the, both of the videos they seen was on that topic, and they disagree. Yeah, they definitely gonna paint you to be the bad guy. Oh shit, man, I don't care about the bad guy thing. Disagreeing is really wild because. Disagreeing instead of actually putting the work in to do it, you know what? Let me stop. Because if I start doing that, then I'm stirring the pot again, right? If I if I continue to 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 give them reasons why they why they could succeed instead of uh, just letting them fail, I probably will be labeled as stirring the pot the rest of my life, huh? Bro, let me tell you this though. You know that like me and you probably feel like your opinions on that popularity and support shit yeah. is like probably like ninety percent. You know what I'm saying? We Say probably on. feel like it is, but you know it's more like 60-40, right? <laughs> yeah, I know. Man, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Yeah, it's not 10 It's 60-40. It's, it's, it's honestly closer to 50-50. You think so? Yeah, bro. Mm. I actually feel like that's a fact. Like, I feel like I should do a vlog and just walk around the mall and, and, and ask people, like, Hey man, you think people and but most people gonna think I'm talking about music and they're gonna be like, yeah, man, people only support the you know the boys that sell dope out here. Like, bro, shut up. Yeah, you know what you know what I always say, man, if that's the case, go sell dope. If that's what you're thinking, <laughs> yeah, like no, I feel like, hey, I, I'm tired of I, I'm trying to get into that, man, but I'm tired of it, man. Like, if you got the answers and you're not passing the test, something's wrong with you. <laughs> I don't care. Like, I don't care what you tell me. If you tell me that <laughs> this is happening because X, Y, Z, and you're not doing X, Y, Z, you're the idiot. And I hate to talk like that. That sounds so harsh. But that's just that's yeah. just the reality of it, man. But if that's the topic they're talking about with you staring apart, then, like, I get it. But that but that don't count, bro. Because, well, like, somebody I'm said, hearing that topic. Uh, the guy, Rose, you know him. Um, Rose, I called him first, and he was like, it, it's, he said he said it because that a lot of times we I'll post stuff and and people will say things and like you'll see people either defending themselves because they feel it's totally the opposite and then you'll see people like agreeing so that like causes like controversy and that's kind of all stern apart is I guess is like you intentionally causing controversy so obviously me me going me doing a video about the whole not being uh the p word or you know what I'm saying me uh intentionally bleeping out the p word you know what I'm saying like doing stuff like that knowing what kind of uh, melee it might cause would be considered stirring the pot, I guess. Yeah, so, and that makes sense, bro. Um, 
back to Cooks one more time. Cooks felt like he was staring. Yeah, <laughs> you the staring pot. the pot right now, bro. <laughs> he was on social media and he was going in and he was uh, talking about gender topics every day. He felt like he was just stirring the pot and creating conversation, but people got tired of that. See, and so and, but, I, I think it's a positive way to do it. My 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 only thing with and I I mean. I get that for, for cooks, right? And I'm happy for him. You know, that's a guy, that's a homie. But I don't think any conversations, I, any conversations I've had, at least podcast wise, were ever built off staring the pot. You know what I'm saying? It's really built off a real opinion for real. Now, when people go out their way, and you keep seeing it time and time and time again, where you just feel like uh, they're misinformed or they don't have the right information, and they feel in that way then it may come up as stirring a pot because now I'm going to make it my business to try to get that message out. If that makes sense. Like when I'm joking and playing, that's one yeah. thing, you know what I'm saying? I get that. That's cool. I don't mind. I'll joke and play all day. But in all seriousness, if I really feel a way, I really stand on something. Like I don't, I tried to do the gender stuff too much. Cause I felt like that's what that was going. That's, that's pot stirring for real. Cause you know, when you say things about a woman, women going to turn their head and, and either disagree or agree. And you know, you go from there and people say like outlandish mm-hmm. things. I don't, I don't go too outlandish. I'm actually, and you, you probably say the same thing. You call me PC all the time. I kind of play it safe a lot. Based off, oh, yeah. based I, off how you really know me. But, but at the end of the day, you're a podcaster. So like, you're supposed to quote unquote, stare the pot because that's what podcasting about. Like, I don't know if people know this, but yeah. podcasting is about having to take. That's yeah. all it's about. Having to take, being entertaining and talking it through. That's what podcasting is. It's, it's it's creating that conversation, you know. Yeah, that's and, that. That's what it's about. So you're supposed to stir the pot. That's your job. <laughs> I mean, I just want to make sure. I mean, I'm not mad at it. You know what I'm saying? But we're just hearing that twice one week, and I when I asked the first person that said it, you know, they really couldn't. I mean, I got what they were saying, but sometimes people can't really articulate what they what they really mean. So that's why I asked for examples. You gave me examples. Um, I just called somebody before you. They gave me an example. They had the same one, actually, which is funny. Then the guy before that, which is Rosa, he gave an example. So, I mean, I'm cool with that. You know, I don't mind it being a, the pot stirrer. You know, I, I made a whole new drop for it. You know, want to hear, hear it? Hold on. You heard that? <laughs> I stirred drop. I heard it a couple times, oh, okay, but yeah. I didn't know. Yeah, I stirred drop. Hey, hey, we got a new drop, baby. You know what I'm saying? So for now, when you see me, when you, when you, I'm amigo now. You know what I'm saying? I'm amigo now. So when you see me, just know, you know, I'm on my, I'm on my bully. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing my what I can do. So <laughs> that's just me, you know. But I'm always going to voice my opinion and, and and stand on what I believe in for real, for real. If I happen to use my content, that's just different. I think that's the difference too. Like we use our content for it, so I'm gonna stand out when I'm doing it because I'm doing it in high quality. I'm doing it on video. I got clips and snips, snippets. You know, the average person that's not in our field is just posting a status and going about their day. So yeah, of course we going. I mean, not we. I'm saying, of course I'm gonna look like you know, I'm really stirring a pot, and I I happen to just I happen to be entertaining. <laughs> I happen to know how to joke. And I happen to know how to stand on my takes, which is even though it's just three easy things, you and I both know that the average person just can't do those things for some reason. And we see it all the time. So I don't know. Yeah, and that's we got to get people to stop starting podcasts, man. I okay, feel like I've been a okay, part of Okay, okay, okay. Look, man, <laughs> listen. I'm, I'm going to stir a lot of pots. I ain't stirring that one ever again. Like, nah, I'm good. And you sit... No, I ain't going to say that because I can't... You know why... I, <laughs> I text you earlier about thoughts on things like that. So that's all I'm going to stay. You know what I'm saying? Like, just stay where you at. Try to succeed where you at. Uh, leave podcasting. If you want to do it, do it. I ain't, I ain't going to tell you nothing to do it. Just go to Slim for all your podcasting needs. Nah, man. I think, um, I think I'm going to stop being a part of the problem. Yeah. You open the door down here. I just want you to know that. A little bit, not too much, just a little bit. Nah, the door was cracked, but you just kind of like didn't close it when you came back. When you came through the door, you never closed it. So, but it happens, you know. I know how that goes, man. It's all good. No big deal. Bro. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna stop podcasting, but um, people is making it look real crazy out here, man. That's all I gotta say on that. Hey, man, things happen, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. All right, man. Hold- <laughs> 
What? Defund out the uh, uh, defund out a relationship podcast too, man. And I'm out, man. Hold it down. Hey, <laughs> hold it down. <laughs> hey, shout out to Slim, man. That was Slim, by the way, from uh, Sit Down with Slim. Go check his podcast out. Um, dope, dope individual, man. Yeah. So stirring the pot, man. Like this is this is this is the case, man. So I, I'll plead guilty to stirring the pot. I don't mind. I don't look at it as a negative thing. I think it's it's just a thing, you know. I, I I don't stir it to start fights. I do stir it to have meaningful conversations. I do stir it to um, have perspective wars, and I'll I'll like I'll I'll say that a perspective war, meaning like I want you to see my perspective. I'm willing to see yours, and we can both uh, we can both coexist, you know. And both our both our both of our perspectives can both coexist as well. Um, without me shooting yours down and you shoot mine down. But I joke a lot. So in the process, it may look like I'm shooting your perspective down, but I'm not. I'm just very pro my perspective, if that makes sense. People say that a lot when they're racist. Like, like, I don't hate white people. I just, I'm just pro-black, you know. And I'm not, I'm not ishing on your perspective, you know what I'm saying? I'm not ishing your perspective. I'm just very, very, very pro my perspective, okay? Hey, I should have never said that, man. I love and now. I got man. I, I got to drop out of this. I'm kind of petty. I ain't gonna lie. I got to drop out of this and everything, man. Um, should I call one person? Let me see. Hello. 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 Hey. What's up? How you doing? Hey, I have to preface this by saying, hey, this is Bobby calling from More the Masses podcast. Okay. 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 I, I gotta say that just for my my journalistic uh side, so nobody says nothing they don't want to uh be heard again. Uh, I just I don't want I don't want to take too much of your time. Maybe it will. I don't know. But I got a question. I was I was told something uh twice this week. So I came to the studio, I called some people, you're the last person I'm calling, and it's kind of like, everybody, right now, I'm, I'm 0 for 3 right now, no pressure on you, okay, no pressure on you, <laughs> but I, I was told something, I wanted, I'm going to tell you what I was told, I want you to tell me whether you agree, yes or no, and you can give me some reasons why, and I think you you know me uh, long enough time to give me a reasons why. So, that's what I was told twice this week, they said, hey man. You be stirring a pot, okay? They said I be stirring okay. a pot, and I, I thought about some things that were said in the last couple of weeks about I be bothering people or something like that, and I think that's what they meant to say. Maybe not bothering people. I think stirring a pot is what they meant. So, uh-huh. what, what what's your take on that? And if you agree, what, what's some reasons you may or may not agree? <laughs> I don't know if I necessarily disagree. Um, but I think you do it in a healthy way. Like you just really basically putting out your unpopular uh, opinion. Okay. Okay. Because a lot of people, a lot of people might not say what you're willing to say. Okay. I can see that. Okay. So yeah, I think you say things that other people may not say and that are going, that's going to necessarily get people riled up if they don't disagree, if they don't agree with you. Not that you care that they disagree with you. But it's yeah. gonna wrap them up. Yeah. And that's what I that's what I was thinking. I said, well, the intentional part, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I, everything is kind of calculated because of what I do, a podcast. So yeah, you gotta bring attention to the podcast and topics, things of that nature, and that's cool. But I joke a lot right. on social media. Most of the time when I post stuff, I, I go to work. Like I'm in the parking lot, I go to work and I don't think about it again for the rest of the day. Unless I get a comment that yeah, just works. You know? Yeah, I don't be knowing. I just go back and like them or laugh, you know. <laughs> I'm not trying to go back and forth from nobody. Right. So, and when I read it, it said, uh, you know, to, to agitate. Now, I do know that. I know when I joke a lot, it can agitate some people, especially if I keep saying it every day. If we had one little, you know, back and forth one day, you might see me say it the next seven days straight, just to, maybe just to piss you off. I don't know. But other than that, you know. <laughs> Yeah, man. Uh, I ain't gonna say no names, but I, I started think because uh, me think about this for real. Was it, obviously when I posted that post a while back and I shared it, which was really crazy because I didn't understand why only I got like I don't know the person added me just to um 
just to comment on the post. And I guess that person just went down a whole list of comments or whatever. But I kept thinking to myself, like, this this post had all these shares. Why was mine so important to, to comment on? So I, I left it alone. Didn't, didn't really bother. I let it, you know, get stuff off cool. But I realized when I when I started to post my, my podcast thing, like the whole, you know, the P word, I don't want to say it because I won't throw up. But you know, I almost did it. Oh, my God. I almost did it. Okay. So I almost threw up. Yeah, I got a drop now. I got a stir fry drop. I'm stirring a pot. But, okay. But <laughs> this probably they talking about right there. I think that's what they talking about right there. We're not be doing that. But I, 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 I realized at, over the next, maybe like a couple of days ago, because I post a lot from that one thinking a lot I did. I post a lot of clips, you know, had the shirt and all that stuff. And I realized that person had, like, by then, unfriended me already. So I don't know what that was about, but I guess I must have pissed her off uh, by posting my story and posting the reels and stuff of that nature. But I, I, I look at that as not stirring a pot, but I, I think sometimes you have strong opinions. And because of what I do, I podcast and things of that nature. So it may look like that sometimes, but I really be trying to just get my content out. I don't be thinking about a, a, one particular person ever at all. I'm positive that that's exactly what it is, but other people are not going to look at it that way if they don't know you. And you may have gotten friended only so they could comment and then unfriended because they didn't like your content. I'm going to keep it a buck. The next couple of days I checked because I'm, I'm, I ain't record for like two days after that. I waited, you know. They, they was still on my on my on my story, and somebody just said the other day, "Let me check and make sure." It was gone. I was like, all right. "Well, I was, you know, I, it didn't bother me at all." But I'm like, "All right, cool." I can only think of one and your reason. Your post probably got commented on because maybe out of most of the shares, you probably had some more comments on it. <laughs> yeah, probably so. Yeah, I mean, it, it happens, man. But you know, that's just. I mean, I don't know. I, I somebody when I put this poll this full episode out in a little bit, you'll see. But somebody had said the same thing um, as far as, like, that that word. People like to say, well, people only, you know, do this for this group. And like I always say, you know, and I, I, and my, this has been my theory or my, my stance for years, so it had nothing to do with this one person at all. But if you feel like, mm-hmm. you know, a certain entity or a group only supports X, Y, Z, then I feel like you got the answers then. So go ahead and be X, Y, Z so you can get the support that you're looking for, you know? So, like, if you if you, if you say... Oh, uh, this these people only support people with white shirts. Go buy a white shirt. And, mm-hmm. But I think you'll see it's not that easy though. It's not just white shirt. You know what I'm saying? That, that's 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 my okay. theory all the time. I right. Feel like, I feel like people, and I, and I ain't want to drain that one a lot, but you know, I, I guess I understand. I, my stance is my stance. Long story short, I don't be trying to uh, stir the pot. But I mean, if I do a little pot stirring here and there, hey, what can I say, man? I don't cook, but you know, I, I'll stir I don't the pot think it's your intention, but it happens often. <laughs> because you're not, you're just straightforward about what you say. It's like you no know, beating around the bush. It's not any gray areas. It's black or white, and you're gonna say it, and people are gonna comment. Amen. And if they know your social media persona, especially, most people know that that's what's gonna come with it. But some people may find offense to it if, you know, they say the shoe fits wear it. So if they feel like that applies to them, they may find offense to it. Yeah, I know, man. I, I I get it, you know. And, and there's no disrespect to anybody. I know some people, they're okay with, you know, being a loser in here and there and stuff like that, so it's fine. But this is what <laughs> I, I say, man. I, I really appreciate you uh, taking the phone call. I know it's late. I'm trying to put this out tonight, hopefully. Uh, I thank you for taking the phone call. Uh, I will send it to you when I chop it up and edit and everything like that. And um, you okay. enjoy your night. You be good. Uh, don't Thanks, stir the pot. Mate. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Stay out of trouble. Stay off my post if, if, if it's going to cause you trouble. I don't mean... For nobody to get attacked verbally um, with words, you know? Yeah, that doesn't bother me. It's social media. Hey, there we go, man. I right, appreciate you. <laughs> Good night. All right. Oh, man. Anyway, um, yeah, man. So I guess four for four, man. I, I, I'm officially the poster boy for uh, stirring the pot. You know, hey, whether you like it or not, I, I, I stir the pot. That's what I do now. This is my new uh, found territory. I am a podcaster slash pot stirrer. So um, put some respect to my name. You know what I'm saying? When you see me, you know, hand me uh, whatever that thing they use to stir the pot with. Hand me that. Um, 
hand it to me. Uh, but I will say this. She mentioned one thing and said in social media. I want to just end with this here. And I think social media is, is what you make it out. You know, some people on social media, it, it's what you make it to be. For some people, it's, it's, it's gossip. It's, um, it's entertainment. It's a way of life. It's how to eat, how to feed their family, how to promote something they're promoting, how to promote themselves. Um, social media can be different things for different people. So um, if you treat social media as if it's the end all be all, I'm probably not the person that you want to uh, be following up with or, you know, follow or be or befriend on social media. If you're here for the jokes, then I'm, I'm your guy. If you're here for some good podcast content, if you like my material, I'm your guy. But if you're here for just, you know, you just social media is life. I'm going to tell you right now, you might want to unfriend me or you might not want to follow me. And that's fine. To each his own, you know, we, we going to be what it is. Um, if you are a loser, you might want to unfriend me or follow me. All right. If you uh, have loser tendencies and ideology, you might want to unfollow me. This is, I'm, I'm probably pot stirring right then. I ain't going to, I ain't going to start a pot stirring. Look, man, this is a good episode. I'm about to uh, head out. One too long, you know, nothing too crazy. Um, I appreciate y'all. For, I know. I, I think, thanks. I, I appreciate y'all for for answering the, the phone. Um, I will continue to uh, put out great content or try to at least. Uh, if what I'm doing is uh, stirring the pot, I will continue to do so. If y'all like episodes like this, let me know. I will do more like this. Um, if if I can, these are kind of tough because it's really depending on people answering the phone and how their background is. You know, I think uh, the last person I just called, they might have been doing dishes. I'm not sure. If person not call, I think he might work at Sonics. I, I don't know. I'm not, I, I don't know if he worked at Sonics or not. Just sound like a lot was going on. Um, yeah, man. So uh One Masters Podcast, we out. I think that's it. Is that it? Yeah, that's it.